What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be using the 90s palette from Vive Cosmetics. It is the eye look I am wearing right now. So if you guys want to see how I got this eye look, then just keep on watching. Alright, to start off this look, I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Soot. I'm going to use a Tres Luz B111 brush. This is Becky G's brush line. My eyes are already primed with concealer with the REM concealer. Now I'm going to do is place it right on the outer V. And just pat that shade and then kind of move it up into the crease. Now to blend that shade out, I'm going to use the shade 93 and using a Morphe M514 brush, I'm going to add it into my crease and then with the rest of the product on this brush, I'm going to lightly try to blend out soot. And then now with a bigger blending brush, this is the Morphe R40 brush, and I'm going to mix phase and whatever together. So phase and whatever. Mix those two shades together to get like the most perfect shade to blend out. These other ones. And I'm not going in too hard with the pressure on this brush either. I'm just going really lightly around. Now I'm going to go back in with 93 and just deepen up the shade a little bit. Going back in with that Morphe brush. Taking my REM concealer again. I've been really loving this concealer just for like my eyes, prime them and stuff. I feel like it does a really good job at doing that and for cutting the crease too. So now with a P. Louise flat brush, I'm taking that concealer and just placing it in the inner portion of my eyelid. And remember, if you do have a fold in your crease, just go a little bit above it to fake a crease. So I'm looking straight ahead. I have a little bit of fold, so I'm going to go a little bit above it. Now I'm slightly blending the concealer into soot. Now with the other side of this brush, I'm going to take VHS. Place this like in the middle of my eyelid. Now with the same brush, I'm going to grab the shade Dial Up. And this is going to go in the inner portion of my eyes. Yeah, I didn't even wet this shade and look how pretty these shades came out. So with that same Thresh Loose brush that I used with Soot, I'm going to grab a little bit of soot and just blend the Jess and soot together. Just like that. So I just tapped that shade on. Now I am going to create a wing eyeliner 
and I mean I am using the KVD ink liner in the shade Trooper Black. The only reason why I'm using this eyeliner is because I forgot to bring my little makeup bag, and this is the one I have here. So, because I've been loving the Vive eyeliner because it's just so inky that it just glides onto your eye. All right, so then with a makeup wipe, I'm gonna clean up this and then I'll pop back on to do our lower lash line. All right, so now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead, let me zoom in a little bit more. All right, so now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and take soot. And I'm taking that on a Morphe M455 brush, running this close to my lower lash line. I'm not going all the way in, just stopping right there. Now with a Morphe Times Ariel A29 brush, I may take 93, but a little amount of it. Tap off the excess and run this under soot and all the way across my eye. And then once I have no extra product on there, I'm just running it a little bit lower. And with a clean brush, I'm just diffusing all this together. Now I'm gonna go in with my mascara for my lower lashes. This is a MAC Stackable Mascara. I just made a huge mess right here, so I'm just gonna wipe it off once it's dry. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I did use the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I feel like I wanted to go with something a little lighter to really show off the metallics in this eyeshadow palette. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys out. Okay, you guys, so this completes this eye look. I hope you enjoyed. If you do want me to create another eye look with this palette, let me know down below. I would be more than happy to create another look for you. I mean, this palette really inspired me to do a lot of cool tone looks, and this palette is just perfect to do that. So if you guys want me to do that, or like have a specific color you want me to use out of this palette, just let me know. I could also do something pretty simple too. If you guys want to do like a simple look, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. I'd highly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.